Secord is a community that is extremely diverse. Yeah, we have a number of um, intensive support programs. So our intensive support programs include autistic programs and model intellectual disability programs. We're a model school, which means we're very high on the learning opportunities index. We have lots of new families to Canada and most of the children they bring with them are quite young. We have seven full day kindergarten classes, brand new. Each of those classes have an average of about 26 kids. The attendance area of Seacord is mainly um, the immigrant population and they come from the low to middle income groups. And the main focus on their mind is getting bread and butter on the table. A lot of them have started up in our ELL programs, so needing extra support for English uh, language learning. They can't necessarily get the supports at home, so we have to make sure we accommodate them here. We have the privilege of being the point people for these new families. And the earlier we can impact their ability to acquire language, both in their primary language in English, the greater their chances of success. So if you don't know how to spell it, what can you do to learn to spell it? Make a sound. Miss May? Mm -hmm. you know in the I... library, we have a variety of picture books that are available for all levels with uh, rich content. We, we don't have um, a robust collection. We have a representation of each, but um, our, our shelves are bare. At Seacord, we have about 600 kids. And even if you're going to take the grade twos or threes and say, okay, 10 books per the grade, even we don't have that kind of a resource. I don't know. Who will be the first to line up first? I have over the years built up my classroom library through uh, donations from friends, finding books at book sales, finding books at garage sales. You can never have too many books. Gabe, I gave you a new pencil. Oh, Gabe. It's like five. In the works with Secord's library is a dual language library that we have been working on over the years. And they're very expensive, these books. Picture books, um, story books. And we try to hit a, not only the, the, the range of different languages, but also um, the range of interests. And this uh, initiative to develop our dual language library is not only to service the students when they come here, but to promote parents coming into the library and reading with their children. Oftentimes, our ELL learners, their families, are under a lot of stress and pressure just to accommodate to their new environments, let alone being able to read and keep up the literacy within the home. So it's really important that we as a school can support them and their parents in, in bridging that gap. Would you read more, do you think, if you had a book that was in your language in your, that you speak at home as well as English? Yeah, because it's in Romanian and I can understand stuff that I, uh, words that I don't understand in English. If we had books that were in dual language, their first language and English, that they could take home to read with their parent, that would really support their reading. It would also provide a very nice opportunity for the parent and the child to do something together, but basically to develop their reading skills, which then jump starts them so that they have a successful academic career. Is it spelled the same in Romanian or differently? But you can use Romanian to help to spell it in English. If you speak Romanian, you have nine books to choose from. If you speak Arabic, you have maybe 10 or 11 and you may only be interested in one. And what we would really like is a rich, robust, dual language library. We really need to keep in mind that until the newcomers can read at grade level or close to grade level, everything is very difficult for them. And the best way for them to succeed academically is to learn how to read in English and everything else falls together. What we would really like we would like parents to come into the library, select the books, and be able to read with their children. And um, it's been a, a challenge over the last couple of years to develop that link and to bring people from the community into the school library so that we can help with that literacy component because reading at home and reading at school and having that link 
uh, studies have shown that children really improve if they can continue that reading momentum at home. It's like this, my, 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 my dad is good at English and Nepali and my, and my mom is good at Nepali. But my mom is also good at English. To have many books speak, of many so different interest levels and high um, interest books with lower vocabulary for the students that are learning English is one of the best ways to be able to help them be successful at their new school and in their new country. What we are looking for specifically with this grant is um, a way to create comprehensive and varied classroom libraries and libraries that can be borrowed to take home. So there are books that stay in the classroom and then there are books that are meant to go home. We want them to be in all of the areas that the students are interested in. We want them to be in color. Right now, all the classes have gotten photocopied books that legally photocopied that all our money could buy. We think kids deserve to have rich texts with rich color and illustrations and photographs and a variety of that. The Indigo grant would also go towards purchasing technology to develop those skills, to develop the savvy, to be safe on the internet. If, if we can't get them on these devices, we can't teach them how to be safe. We can't teach them how to go forward and use critical thinking skills in that particular forum. It kind of evens the playing field for our special ed kids who really um, seem to appreciate the technology in their classroom and are be, when they're able to access it we're seeing amazing results to prepare them for the future to build more technology into our schools and literacy through technology is another one of our goals. We have quite a number of parents who uh, have offered to volunteer so getting those volunteers in, getting them reading with the kids and developing our classroom libraries so that kid, parents have those volunteers have access to literacy that they can work with our students. We're really trying to encourage that through our volunteers. The parents are actually coming here every day, morning and evening. So there is no chance that they're going to miss out on the library if it's fully equipped and welcoming and having the books that they need. So I think this grant will help us equip the library for the kids and for the parents who are actively participating in most community events. I have a really strong sense that if they were able to read language books at home that are written in their first language and their second language, it would give them an opportunity to spend time with their parents in a very valuable situation when they're actively engaged in reading at home. And that would develop a bond, really, between the school and the home and help everyone feel more successful. Getting this grant would actually uplift the egos and uh, self-respect for the children studying at Sea Court because they would feel a sense of belonging. Like it's a real privilege to help these families who come here and leave everything behind. It's so impressive to watch these kids who've never seen a winter come here bundled up and ready to learn, to watch these parents who have given up education and status, comfort and mild weather to come here and start fresh and and they do it all for their kids, and it all happens here. They are struggling so hard to find meaning and connection, and this is where it all happens. And the one thing that we really have a moral imperative as teachers in this community is to make that connection stick, to make that community connection help those kids read and cope and build a new life. And, and, it, and it is that important because we are making their dreams come true. And right now we have limited resources and it would mean so much to all these parents to, to see and to feel all of those differences. And if we had the resources to have um, all the books we needed to launch our investigations and our inquiries, I don't even know how far our kids could go. It would be amazing.